All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to continue the conversation around Stellar Blade censorship. This is something we've been talking about for a few days now because it's very important. The The final nail in the coffin was the fact that they decided to censor a game that they said was not going to be censored. Uh, this is basically the entire premise of what this argument has been about. And you have people online trying to be disingenuous about it, trying to say, oh, you're just mad because you can't see uh, naked women or whatever the case may be. These are the same people that praised games like Baldur's Gate 3 because it fits their version of what actual sexiness is. Now we have an article here from That Park Place with a headline that reads, gamers begin canceling PlayStation Network subscriptions to free Stellar Blade from censorship. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, the fact that people are actually canceling their PlayStation Plus subscriptions, is this going to make Sony broke? No, obviously not, right? Like, we know that. Is this going to hurt their bottom line? Probably not. We know that. But is this going to cause a ripple effect in the gaming industry that's going to make certain uh, publishers, certain developers a little more wary about maybe what they decide to do in the future? Absolutely. This is the problem that people have with this whole scenario, right? They think that because if if, if it's not going to make them broke, then it doesn't matter. If it's not going to make them stop, then it doesn't matter. But it does, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it from this point, right? One raindrop doesn't cause a ton of rain. A ton of rain is uh, eventually what you need to actually cause a flood. You got to remember that, yeah, it's not going to be get woke, go broke right away. It's going to be something that's going to take time and it's going to take multiple raindrops to eventually cause that flood. And we're seeing what happens when all multiple raindrops eventually end up attacking the gaming industry and rightfully so. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. It says dozens, if not hundreds, and potentially even thousands of gamers are canceling their PlayStation Network subscriptions in protest of censorship in Stellar Blade. The official Stellar Blade account on X promised on April 21st that the game would be uncensored in all countries when it was released. The account posted Stellar Blade offers the same uncensored version in all countries, including the Japanese version. Now, I want to be very clear. I said this on Saturday Night Hypnosis recently. If you guys missed it, go check out that stream that we did with Eric July where we talked about this. But it's very important to realize that Stellar Blade, or Shift Up, I should say, is unable to make any public statement without Sony's knowledge. We know that to be true. So Sony literally had to say hey this is perfectly fine to put out there go for it so a lot of people are saying well maybe shift up didn't know that sony was going to cens censor the game get the fuck out of here with that nonsense they absolutely knew that sony wanted the game censored they absolutely knew that what they were putting out there was not true but they still tried to lie about it anyway i have another video talking about what the director said so make sure you guys go check out that video later today it's going to be very interesting they are all lying every single one of them are lying and this statement right here is the reason why this this entire thing is a big deal to begin with. Had you not put out this statement, nobody would be uh, going crazy as much. The fact that you are lying to people and then you're gaslighting them and telling them that this was the version it was always meant to be, that's bullshit. We know it's not because we saw your press releases. We saw your trailers. We saw your gameplay. You purposely made it a thing to showcase her outfits. You made it a thing to showcase what the gore was. You made it a thing to, to basically try to bait and switch people. You showed people what the game was and then when they got what the game ended up being guess what that's called censorship it's not called artistic vision because your artistic vision was in the final build of the game which was 1.0 which was what was on the disc which is what people are playing who are not updating the game with the patch it says gamers discovered that the game has indeed been censored with a number of the outfits that players can obtain for the main protagonist, Eve, being altered. The most prominent is the holiday bunny outfit. Now, I mentioned this in my last video, but they did what they always do with Eastern female characters. They gave her the modernity cloth, right? Anytime a female comes out that is just too, uh, too traditionally sexy, especially with the boobs, it seems like the boobs is like a really big thing for these people, I guess because their trans idols are unable to actually grow boobs on their own. But still, they like to throw them a dirty cloth on these characters because it's just too it's too much for them to see cleavage on a traditionally sexy female is too much they'll be fine with cleavage as long as it's on a trans female but they're not going to do cleavage if it's on a, a traditionally sexy female it says on top of this outfit and others being changed the game also appeared to reduce the amount of gore which i did a video on prior 
As reported by Packer Girl, shout out to Packer Girl, Stella Blade director Kim Hung Tae acknowledged the censorship at a launch event. He said, we are aware of the issue. The version we ended up showing was a day one and patch version. It's not an answer that will satisfy users anyway. Internal discussions are ongoing. Now, we spoke about this in many different videos. We spoke about this on many different streams. I do not buy this at all, ladies and gentlemen. I do not buy this story. I do not buy that this was the final version that he intended for people to have. The entire narrative around Stellar Blade from the developers themselves was that they were not going to make the game for the for the vision of the West, right? They literally came out and said that they're not trying to design this game for Western audiences. They're not trying to censor the game for Western audiences. They're not trying to do anything other than their own vision. And then all of a sudden, we have proof that that is not the case. Your vision was what you were showcasing while the game was in development. Your vision was what you were using to try to bait people into the game to buy them. And now that people have bought the game and pre-order the game now you're going to say oh yeah the day one patch is coming out yeah that was the total vision that we had for the game get the fuck out of here that is such gaslighting nonsense and unfortunately it looks like stellar blades shift up is absolutely compromised let's see what this video actually showcases i don't think i watched this hold on let's see <laughs> So let's be very clear. If this was your final version that you intended to be in the game, this version would have been on the disc. That's the entire reason why the disc is the disc to begin with, right? The final build is what ends up going on the disc. Obviously, there has been day one patches for many different games, but that is not the final build. The final build that was being released, let's say the internet didn't fucking exist, right? Let's say you couldn't patch the game. What would be the final build of the game? The final build will be what is on the disc. That is just how it works when it comes to physical copies. If you have a digital only game, now that's something totally different, but you have a physical version of a game you have a disc that's being released that doesn't require an internet in order to copy onto the actual system so this was your final version of the game that you wanted to release but then once sony got their hands on the final version it was like whoa 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 well this is too much titty we we, we can't have this much titty it, it, does this person have a dick if, if they don't have a dick we can't have this uh, much titty we need to change this once you saw that and you were forced by sony you absolutely changed it which resulted in the day one patch which changes the final version of the the game so no that is not you uh showing your final you know idea of the outfits let's be real ladies and gentlemen shift up even if they could be honest with themselves for a second they would not be able to do so it would be against the contract that i'm sure sony has them locked by they can't tell you what the truth is so you could tell just by actions fuck the words you could tell just by actions that they absolutely censored this after the fact because they were getting forced to by sony sony's their publisher they gotta play ball they gotta play game and knowing that shift up is going to be trying to go public soon they absolutely are hoping that this game is a win so that way their stock is highest uh as high as it could ever be when they finally go public so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out that's a lot of damage how about a little more <laughs>